Hi guys, I am back with a brand new craft video for you this week. Now today we're going to be looking and talking about something completely different to what we normally would be doing. Um, we are going to talk about V-Day. Now, those of you that don't know about V-Day, V-Day is when the guns fell silent during World War II. Now this Friday is the 75th anniversary of when that happened. So when the guns all fell silent over Europe in World War II, that meant that the World War II for Europe was over. It was done. We had finished. We had won. Okay. The reason why we still celebrate this is because it's a massive part of the British history. And it's really important to reflect on those soldiers that sacrificed their lives the, the determination and the courage that they had to help us win World War II. Okay, and because it is set the 75th anniversary this Friday, we thought we could do a bit of a craft video for you guys to celebrate that. Normally, a lot of people would celebrate uh, V Day by going out having street parties. Um, the Queen will do her speech, and it becomes a bit of a party for a lot of people. Unfortunately, because of the virus that is happening, um, people won't be able to go out in the streets and have a party. But that doesn't mean to say that we can't reflect and we can't celebrate those that fought for our country. So today, to be able to celebrate, we are going to be making some bunting. Now, this bunting is really, really easy to make and it looks beautiful hung anywhere. It can be hung in your window, on your door or just in your bedroom. OK, and it's very, very easy to make. So I've pre-made my bunting. So here it is. We have got the Union Jack. We have got a silhouette of a soldier. We've got 75 years and we've got a Spitfire flying through the sky. Now I've left a little bit of room on my string to be able to show you how I made this, okay? All you're gonna need to be able to make this uh, bunting is some A4 paper. Okay, depending on how many bits of bunting you want to make will depend on how much paper you need. You're also going to need your pencil and ruler, a pen, black pen for outlines, your string, ribbon, craft paper, whatever you have that can hold your paper together, some scissors, some glue, and of course your pencils or pens for decorating at the end. Now, like I said, I've already created my bunting, but I am just going to show you how to create the triangle to add to it. So, we're going to get our A4 piece of paper. And we're just going to fold it in half like I've already done, okay? Now, on this bit of paper, I've already drawn on my lines to create my triangle. So, all you're going to do is you're going to get your pencil and your ruler and work out the centre of your piece of paper. Once you've worked out the centre of your piece of paper, just draw a dot at the bottom. Then you're gonna draw your two lines up and across to create your triangle. I'm gonna now draw that in black pen so you can see what I mean. So I've already found the centre of my page. And I'm just gonna draw a triangle from that center if my pen would like to work there we go so there is my triangle okay now the top bit I'm just going to draw a line across here and a line across here that's going to be the flap that flaps over to stick our bunting to our string Move my bunting out of the way, it's getting in the way. So now, as you can see, we have our triangle and then we have our little flap at the top that's going to be folded over to hang on to the piece of string. All you're going to do then is just cut out the outside lines. Don't cut across this straight line because that is the fold for us to stick it down. We only want to cut out the outside lines. There we 
we go. So as you can see, I've cut out the outside lines and left the middle line. Now, because we folded this bit of paper in half, when you cut it out, it means that you're now gonna have two pieces of bunting, okay? So one piece of A4 paper will create two pieces of bunting. Then all you need to do is decorate it. So what I've been doing is from corner to corner, on my other piece of paper which hasn't got the line I'm just drawing the line back in so I can see where the fold is going to be because you don't want to draw in this section because when it folds over like so you're not going to be able to see your drawings okay so already I've done my Union Jack I've done a Spitfire I've done the 75 years and I've done the soldier I'm just going to quickly draw another flag on here so then you can see me attach it okay so very quickly, just going to draw out my flag. Make sure you make yours much neater and much more beautiful than mine. You've got lots of time to make it. There is no hurry. Okay, so I've very, very quickly drawn out my flag. You're going to draw it really beautifully and colour it in with lots of beautiful colours. Now, just to show you how to attach, so I've got my piece of bunting here and I'm going to attach it to the end piece. Now, all we need to do, okay, is on your piece of bunting, where you've got your line across, we're just going to fold it over make it a really really neat fold okay if I turn around you can see the flap is on the other side and we've folded it okay we're going to get our piece of string and we're going to pop this bit of fold over the top of the bunting okay now on this bit of string and this fold we are just going to pop a bit of glue And then just stick down your piece of string to the glue like that and then all we're going to do is just put a little bit more glue on the flap and we're going to fold it over and seal pushing down like so and there you have the next part of your bunting now you can make these as long as small as big as you wish okay i can't wait to see them all make sure they're really beautiful and really really colorful and let's celebrate those people that fought for us to have a life that we have now if you want to know more about v-day then please go on google and just type in v-day and there is so much information on there that you guys can read there's games and websites and some fantastic articles that you can look at of course, as well, ask your parents, carers, grandparents, aunties, uncles. They will all know about it and will have facts to tell you. My grandparents were around during the World War II. And some of the stories that my granddad tells me are absolutely incredible. So if you get a chance, if you can, talk to your family about it. Because there are some amazing stories out there. And you might just learn a little bit new things about your family that you didn't necessarily know. I hope you've enjoyed making this um, and I really, really want to see them. So please, please put them on our Facebook page. Um, keep safe and just keep well and I can't wait to see you all soon. See you later, guys.